C.J. Wiley wins it over Earl Strickland, 11 games to six, and he is the champion of the Dallas Million Dollar Challenge. I well, welcome you back, and we've got the champion with us here. First of all, congratulations. What a great way to start out for the PCA. You couldn't have asked for anything uh, more out of this week. This is a dream come true, Kevin. I'm telling you, everything just went uh, more than perfect. Uh, it's, it's hard to imagine uh, uh, planning on something like this. You know, we broke all odds here this week, and it was a great tournament. Talk real quickly about the PCA. How did it start? what it stands for, and, and like you said, you got to be ecstatic about where things are going right now. Right, this uh, tour was started by uh, Earl Strickland and George Brelev and myself and a host of other players that, uh, you know, we stand for improving the game and uh, improving the image and, and doing all the right things to bring this into the major league of sports because uh, pocket billiards is a great TV game. And uh, I think you have to agree with that yeah. after this tournament. <laughs> Jimmy Mattia, you got some questions about what happened on the felt. Pardon me? What, what happened in the in the in the, the match? Well, I know what happened in the match. This guy couldn't wait to get back to Earl Strickland after what happened in the first match. He missed a seven ball that he should have made. It should have been a 10-10 game, and who knows who would have won after that. He couldn't wait to get back to the table. And he got his revenge, and rightfully so. Right now, C.J. Wiley is the hottest nine-ball player in the world today. He just won the biggest tournament in history of pool a month ago, $90,000. It's only fitting that he comes down here, works his head off, and wins his own tournament. He's going to have to give himself the own trophy, you know, his trophy. <laughs> Before we get to the finals, let's talk a little bit about the semifinals. Do you think you had a shot to come back down 10-4? Or down 10-4? No, I didn't. I tell you, uh, he gave me a chance, and I just felt some energy come into me that uh, gave me the confidence to go ahead and uh, try to win. And, uh, you know, the odds were maybe not 7.5 million to 1, but they were certainly up there pretty high. <laughs> Do you have any flashbacks in... The finals now when you got down to the nine ball and you rattled that one out? Oh, I just, uh, you know, one thing I don't know if you mentioned, these pockets are extremely small and they are cut to the professional standards. I'm going to tell you, if one single negative thought comes into your mind, uh, you might not like the results, and I didn't like those results. Well, early on, the thought process, though, you look like you may have been down a little bit, especially in the semifinals. How'd you turn things around, just simply by playing your way out of it? i tell you, it just, uh, you know, it was a force higher than myself. i tell you, it just... Uh, Allowed Jimmy me refers to, to those as the pool gods. The pool gods. Uh, well, <laughs> whatever you want to consider it, it, it happened, and uh, I'm very thankful. Go back to the first day of the tournament, the Million Dollar Challenge, and Earl, does, that's unbelievable. Eight and a half, what, nearly eight million to one odds, and then runs the uh, 11 racks in a row and wins a million dollars. Yeah, that was something else. I'll tell you, that's going to go in history and uh, the Guinness Book of World Records and everything else. People will be talking about this for a long, long time, I'll tell you. You got a lot of things to worry about here. Not only are you the, the champion, but you're also the host. And by the way, he does not get to present the trophy to himself. That was something you were waiting to do, but uh, you're probably glad you're not having to do that. And you get uh, 10 grand in your pocket and a great job as far as putting this whole tournament together. I'll tell you what, it was great, Kevin. I appreciate you being here. All right. All right, Jimmy Madai and I will be back with some final words in just a second. Congratulations to this guy, C.J. Wiley. We're back to Dallas in just a moment. Looking to break into a new and exciting place to play? Everyone's talking about CJ's Sports Bar and Billiards Club. Open 24 hours on weekends, CJ's has a full-service bar and cafe serving your favorite food. CJ's also has a pro shop with a complete line of billiard supplies. My friends and I come to play where the pros play and to watch CJ Wiley, ESPN's World Open Champion. So drop in to CJ's Sports Bar and Billiards Club, one half mile south of White Rock Lake next to Blockbuster Video on Garland Road. Ava Mataya on one of America's fastest growing sports. When I play, I concentrate only on the game. And to do my best, it's important that the table is consistent and accurate. It all has to come together to be the best. And for me, that's Brunswick. Their tables are well made and beautifully designed. Whether competing in tournaments or having fun with family and friends, remember, the game is billiards. And the name is Brunswick. Brunswick, a tradition of excellence since 1845.